What's the crack, lads? What's going on? And I'm back with another video. And I think this is an important one because I'm seeing a lot of people make mistakes with training up their cards and training up their players. And lads, look, if you are new to the game, obviously you can make a few mistakes. There's no problem with that. But, you know, I see people making the same mistakes over and over and over again because they're obsessed with overall rating instead of actually looking at the card and looking at the player and looking at exactly what skills and stats you need to get the best version of the card for you. I mean, nobody else is playing the game in your hands apart from you. Like, there's no point you having a 98 overall Mbappe if he's got stats where, you know, you're not getting the best out of him because of your play style. So, you know, this obsession with getting the best overall player and having a player 98 overall instead of 97 overall, like, just sit back and actually watch this video and, and learn from me because I made these mistakes at the start as well. Trust me, I made these mistakes with a couple of cards. You're seeing here, I'm going to show you a couple of players like Mbappe, 97 overall. Uh, there's a couple of other players I'm going to show you guys here as well. These are how I've trained them up. And just take a focus uh, on the, or have a look and focus on the stats and what stats I've actually boosted up. Because I'm going to talk about this in just a second and give a real... Uh, life example by buying two versions of Kamavinga who's one of the best players in the game as a CMF and then training him up in real time with you guys and showing you guys exactly what the point is I'm trying to make in this one because look at the end of the day right everyone has a different skill level everyone has a different way of playing the game Everyone has different formations, different different tactics, different play style, as I said. So you are going to have to train your player exactly how, you know, you see fit and how he's going to benefit you. There's no point having a really high rated player if the stats that you need are not going to be what they what they should be. Because, yeah, I mean, definitely do a little bit of research into it. And, uh, you know, I use eFootball DB quite a bit when I'm training up players. You'll see there, like with Alaba, you'll see his speed and acceleration and you'll see his passing and dribbling. Not the best, not the best stats for a left back, which a lot of people use Alaba as a left back. But because I'm using him as a, a really defensive centre back that's very, very fast on the ball, that is why I have done... The, the training the way he's you know I've done it so I'm going to go in here and buy two versions of Kamavinga 64,000 GP uh, buy two lads that's what this video is costing me and about 80,000 trainer points as well just to make this video so um, make sure you do subscribe if you are enjoying this type of content because I just want to help everybody out there is a lot of kind of misinformation out there and a lot of yeah I just see a lot of kind of stupid stuff out there really to be honest with you you know and this obsession with overalls this obsession with like auto allocation in the training points um, you know and that's not trying to have a go at anybody or anything like that it's just I do come up against players all the time that have boosted up their players or maxed out their players uh, you know the wrong way and I'm like thinking why did you put stats into that or why did you ignore that for the position you're playing him in for the team play style you're playing as uh, you know I'll see players play possession based players that just are useless on the ball of no passing so we're going to max out this version of Kamavinga here and he takes about, I'm not even too sure what he takes, he takes about 80,000 uh, trainer points to boost him up to get to 42 out of 42 levels, right? So we're going to have 82 progression points to play around with here, and we're going to max him out and turn him in from a 76 overall centre midfielder to around between an 89 and a 91, depending on how we train him up. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that as well. And as I said, this video is just, it's not just for newcomers. If you are a newcomer, yeah, it'll definitely help you out, I think. Um, but even if you are somebody that's still struggling to get the best out of their players and somebody's not doing it for you, you know, you might be training them wrong. So we've allocated automatically here. And I'm going to show you why I think this is is just a silly way of doing it, right? And this gives you, this auto allocation, basically what it does, right, is it uses an algorithm, okay, to give you the best max overall for this card, to max out this card to have his highest overall that this card can possibly hit. So if it needs to put in a stat into lower body strength, or it needs to put in a stat into defending, or it needs to put in a stat into passing, that you don't really need, that you wouldn't manually put in yourself, it will do it, at the cost of putting the card at his max rating. So you will see here that Kamavinga goes from a 76 to a 91 overall with the auto allocation. Now we're going to go over to eFootball DB here and we're going to simulate this. We're going to drag up the levels and then we're going to have our 82 progression points here to play around with and to mess around with, right? So 
yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to just train him up exactly as, as I would train him up. And we're going to see, does he get to that 91 overall? With the emphasis being on that this is the version of Kamavinga I think is best if you are using him as the role that you should be using him in the game, which is very, very solid dribbling, passing, really good engine on him, good base of speed, acceleration, and very good defensive stats. Because I think Kamavinga is one of the best tacklers in the game. Um, and he's very, very, very good defensively in that box-to-box -box kind of role. Even though he's an orchestrator as a playing style, this is the stats that I would boost up, and you can have a mess around with them yourself. We're leaving one as well for uh, the team play style, which is either possession game, quick counter, long ball, out wide, or long ball uh, counter. And then, obviously, that doesn't be taken into consideration when you're using the auto-allocation either. So you can auto-allocate, and a lot of people did that at the start of the game, including me, where I auto-allocated a lot of points and I ignore team play style. And then, you know, you end up with a Romario that is like, you know, 90 overall or 95 overall, but he's got 75 for team play style. So he never has that full team play style. Now you can get around that if you've got, you know, 10 other players or nine other players with really good stats. But I'm just showing you guys here as well, right? You need to train the player up how you play, how you see fit. If you want Kamavinga as your on-the-ball passer, like your main link between defense and attack, and use him as a really good passer, this is what you need to boost up. And auto allocation won't do that. So stop making that mistake. That would be my advice to anybody that is doing that and using auto allocation and has this obsession with getting the max overall and training guides and all that sort of stuff. What you need to do, right, is you need to train up the player as best you can, because I have people saying to me, oh, you know, your version of Ronaldo is 95 and my version is 96, mine is better. And it's like, no, it's not better. It's just that I've trained him exactly how I wanted to train my 95 version of Ronaldo. So similarly here as well as I'm showing you guys, if you wanted to max out your defensive stats on Kamavinga and turn him into an absolute defensive monster at the back, you're only going to get an 88 overall as a center midfielder because he's not down as a DMF. Now, you will notice in the bottom right where the position guide is here on eFootballDB, this is very, very handy as well, you will see that he's actually an 89 overall as a DMF. So if you play him as a DMF, even though he's an orchestrator, you will have an 89 overall DMF Camavinga. He will be 84 in attacking midfield and an 88 center midfield. So that's why I keep saying it. When you are auto-allocating auto this guy uh, or these stats for any player, you need to just pay attention to what you're actually doing because number one, it won't give you any team play style proficiency points. And number two, it's going to auto-allocate stuff that you might not even need. Do you know what I mean? There's no point having stats in, say, the likes of aerial strength or defending if you're not going to need the, the player to be defensive. Like if you've got Camavinga in a Barcelona trio midfield where you've got a deep line DMF, you don't need Camavinga to have defensive stats. You just need him as a box to box. So you need to train him exactly how you need him to play on the pitch. So yeah, if I'm training Camavinga, this is my ultimate version of Camavinga. I've done a lot of research on him. I will be doing a player review on him as well. If you guys want that, let me know in the comments below. I think him and Bellingham are probably two of the kind of budget centre midfielders. I know Shuamene is there as well uh, as a really good option. And we've also got Sergio Canales and a few other guys, DePaul. But I think this version of Camavinga, right? I think this is the best version of him. You've got everything that you could possibly need here that you possibly want in a player. Now, obviously, we don't have out wide as the team play style here. But we're going to get a 90 rated version of uh Kamavinga here. When we do the auto allocation, it's going to go to 91 overall. So this is why I, I keep reiterating the point, lads. When you are training a player, train him up, use eFootball DB, train him up, see what stats you need, see what max rating you can get with the stats rather than the overall rating. So hope this video helps you out, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back later. Peace.